There's probably no better feeling than seeing an animal you've looked after being given a second chance at life. Going back to the wild after being rescued when injured or in distress. Our wildlife hospitals at Healesville Sanctuary, Melbourne Zoo and Werribee Open Range Zoo see thousands of rescued native animals every year. Sadly, not all are able to be saved, but the ones that are make all the effort worthwhile. Here are five rescue and release stories that give us all the feels. The Australian Wildlife Health Centre at Healesville Sanctuary is always busy. Recently, the team were very surprised when a spot-tailed quoll was brought in that was found in someone's chicken coop in Wonga Park. These incredibly rare animals are hardly ever seen in the wild, let alone in a suburban backyard. The male quoll had leg wounds and was given a thorough health check. Blood tests and x-rays showed he was in good health overall. So once his wounds had fully healed, he was ready to be released back into the wild. A suitable release site was chosen within the Yarra Ranges National Park, well away from any chicken coops. He was a bit nervous at first and then he headed off off into the blue yonder, which is great because we, we know he was a wild animal anyway and uh, he's got some lovely habitat here to work with and I'm sure he'll, um, he'll go on and, and be very successful. Number four is another unusual rescue story and involves one very lucky koala. This koala was found in a cave at the bottom of a cliff face on the Glenelg River by recreational kayakers. It's an absolute miracle. I don't know how they even saw him, but he was inside the cave. He needs to eat eucalyptus and he had no access to food. We think that trees from the top of the cliff may have fallen during the stormy weather and he was in those trees. So because he was dehydrated and had not eaten, we had to rehydrate him with oral fluids and then present him with a bountiful amount of browse to try and get the weight back on him. The vet hospital at Werribee Open Range Zoo has undergone an expansion thanks to donations to the RSPCA following the devastating black summer bushfires. Dedicated to the needs of our unique sleepy marsupials, the new RSPCA koala ward has treatment rooms, surgeries and open air recovery spaces with fresh eucalyptus leaves delivered daily. Back to our cave rescued friend who's been filling up on fresh leaves and is now fully fit and ready to go back home to a safe gum tree well away from the river. Still at Werribee and it's three times the cuteness for number three with a trio of barn outlets. The outlets were found on the ground after destruction of the hollow bearing tree. So this actually meant that the outlets had nowhere to be raised by their parents. While here at the hospital, they each received blood work, x-rays and a health examination. Once with the wildlife carer, she had to take over the role of parenting these owls discreetly so that they were still wild enough to be released back to their natural habitat. So watching these owls get released back into the wild is actually full of mixed emotions from nervousness but also to delightfulness, to gratitude that they managed to make it through to this stage. But more than anything, I was incredibly proud at what beautiful birds they've become. So I guess you could say it's owls well that ends well. Melbourne Zoo's Marine Response Unit is a crack team of specialist keepers and vets that are ready to respond to any marine wildlife that is found in trouble. Most of the cases are due to entanglements in discarded plastics or fishing gear, birds who swallow fish hooks, and seals that get caught up in netting or line. Recently, the team had a particularly tricky rescue of an entangled seal that only came close enough to catch at night. And just as a warning, there are some medical procedures showing in this story. Just stay down low. Hidden. Over the last couple of weeks, the Marine Response Unit has had several calls about a poor little Australian fur seal yearling with quite a bad fishing line netting entanglement. So this was actually a really unusual case for the Marine Response Unit and quite a challenging case because it meant that we had to actually catch the seal at night. Got him. 
Right. Unfortunately, when he probably got it entangled, he was a fair bit smaller. And as he gets bigger, uh, obviously the fish netting isn't getting any bigger with him and it's starting to cut into his neck. Can you see that in there? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, got that. Yeah. Seals are a remarkable species and they heal really well, so we felt very comfortable releasing him back into the water with that wound. It's oh. brutal, it but brutal. this will heal. Yeah. You're at. You good? Yep. Ah! Oh. Oh. Yes! That was a great we did. Ah, oh, Hayley, good work! It was really nice to see at the end of the um, release, we went down to the end of the pier and he came back and we saw him fishing again, which is exactly what we want to see. And our number one rescue and release story goes to our largest bird of prey, the magnificent wedge-tailed eagle. We recently received a wedge-tailed eagle to the Australian Wildlife Health Centre. The wedge-tailed eagle had been hit by a car and had some extensive soft tissue bruising. We were able to anaesthetise the eagle, do a series of radiographs to make sure there weren't any fractures and luckily this eagle did not have any fractures. Initially he couldn't fly at all and then over the time that he was in with us his ability to fly improved. And then by the time we were ready to begin to flight test and train him, he was able to sustain about four metres flight and get up about two metres off the ground so he was doing really well. The vet team at Healesville Sanctuary treat many animals that have been seriously injured. So when one of their patients is able to make a full recovery and go back home to hopefully live a long and full life in the wild, gives the whole team a real boost. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great Zoos Victoria content, Make sure to click the subscribe button below.